Have you ever wanted to know what Gilly would look like if it was actually habitable? Well, in this new mod from Shushut, you get to find that out. So let's uh, head out there now with this insanely designed rocket that has way more Delta V than necessary and apparently space boosters. Yes, I don't know why I did this, but I have space boosters. Boosters that are get used in space. Horribly inefficient ISP, but there you go. But it does make it look pretty cool, and there's another mod I was trying out that had specifically a booster in it, so I was like, okay, let's do that. And then, you know, it just looks cool when everything breaks apart out in space, and the rockets sort of all do their thing, which then really reveals the actual spacecraft that we're sending to Gilly via, I guess, Eve, which is this uh, backstage with an aerospike engine, which then has a uh, lander stage which is the solar panels and the communication array and then just for fun I threw another little front section in here that I left in orbit it's basically a relay station that's just way overpowered for what I'd actually need it for but I do need to make sure I have uh, continued communication and I lost one recently then we're just going to uh, make sure we can get to Eve uh, I already timed it so that it would be the most efficient time to do the burn and then launch the craft around another burn from Kerbin out into interstellar space on our trajectory voyage to the EVE system, which is where Gilly can be found. So we're gonna say goodbye to uh, Kerbin there and all the moons I had. And after a very long and boring voyage, we're going to arrive in the EVE system, which we can now see EVE popping up there, the ring system, but I'm not exactly sure where Gilly Bye. is. So hopefully it's here somewhere, um, but it wasn't immediately visible and, you know, yeah, I looked out the window and sort of walked around and then said, okay, well, I'm just going to do a little walk here as the rocket is doing the uh, automatic burns that I had set up to uh, get us around Gilly that hopefully is actually out here. It shows up on the map, but uh, I wasn't sure if it uh, was going to actually show up here. And yeah, I then got really interested in the back here with all this stuff and said, wow, cool. This model is actually really neat. Um, not paying attention to actually da -da, there's Gilly we've actually reached it and that happened while I was goofing off in the spacecraft so here we are at Gilly uh, we're still doing a pass so we had to do another burn to get into I'm gonna call it a low orbit but with Gilly you can get really close even with the atmosphere uh, and still technically be in orbit um, at this point we got rid of that second stage uh, it still had like 1600 dv of uh, power so yeah this whole mission was over uh just over designed in every way uh, a bit of a burn and then we're just gonna drop down but i wanted to close up the uh, panels here just in case they got aerodynamically destroyed the uh, solar panels are stuck out but i have two other panels around the craft if they were to be sheared but everything's going so slow I wasn't too worried as we sort of fall down to the planet. Now that is the ocean blinking around, we'll have a look at them a bit later, they're strange. And here we can see that uh, we got even the background as we're coming down. Now I should mention everything is sort of time warped ahead and even like time warped in the video because everything moves slow around Gilly and yeah this took forever to actually get down here. So we're coming down for a final landing. Uh, with my incredibly over-designed and everything lander uh, with giant legs and everything else because I had no idea what to expect coming down here. Uh, I've never been to Gilly before and my understanding is this is height maps and everything else haven't been changed. It's just an ocean has been added, atmosphere has been added, and obviously it's greener than it probably was initially. Unless Gilly is supposed to be green in which case I've never been here before so I had no idea. I think I've seen it at a distance once um, when I went to uh, Eve and then got some uh, Kerbal Strand on Eve. Then I extended out the uh, communication array so at the very least this is going to be a relay station and we went and got uh, Lumi out to uh, explore the uh, moon now that has a breathable atmosphere and air and all this cool gas and stuff and at this point I realized that no no I'm still sliding. So Hopefully uh, my spacecraft is not going to slide into the ocean or get destroyed, but that's fine. We're just going to slowly uh, use our jetpack here and uh, come over to, I guess, the ridge. We're going to go for the ridge here, 
and uh, I think we're just going to plant a flag. You might notice on the spacecraft there's a lot of science experiments jammed on that thing. I'm in sandbox mode. I have no idea why I did that. Um, because experiments do nothing in sandbox mode. But that spacecraft has like 40 experiments jammed on it. But I'm going to save that for later. All right, so flag up, no problem there. And uh, we're just going to move around to do a little photo montage to say, hey, here we are, look, look at us. And yes, the ship has finally stopped moving. So I decided to jump to see how high I could jump. And then I was like, okay, um, I tried to take the helmet off and it wouldn't work. It said I was too high. So I'm um, just going to time lapse here as I fly over to the, what I'm going to refer to as oceans, um, although they are very strange. I did fall into it and swim out, so you can do that. But uh, yeah, they're just a crazy mess. I don't know what's going on. If that's the mod or maybe I have too many mods. But yes, success! I got the helmet off. We're going to do a little dance. And uh, yeah, so with that, uh, we can clearly now go and say that uh, Gilly is confirmed habitable with this mod. If you land here, you can take the helmet off the Kerbals and walk around. So if you do have... Uh, you know, life support mods that uh, have an advantage of being in an atmosphere. Ta-da, there you go. Then I decided to fly back to uh, the rocket, which I lost, and I forgot something very important. Apparently above 1588 meters, your Kerbals die if they don't have a helmet on because the air is too thin. Which leaves us with this relay system that is currently uh, running out of snacks. This mission was poorly planned, but this mod is pretty cool.